Hello, I am K.S. Rao, the Sudoku expert you know quite well. Today I, I am producing one more video. I have selected a good puzzle. It is quite quizzical. It is very interesting. It has got some problems. Uh, we can solve, we will solve it, no doubt. But I advise strongly, I suggest that you must copy this puzzle on a neat piece of paper with the lines drawn with a ruler or something like that and you must try on your own only then you will know the difficulties and when I start explaining you will follow it and you will also appreciate let me sorry to say that you will appreciate my value ok so now with these few words let us proceed to the puzzle so here is our puzzle it has a few peculiarities have a look it has got mainly two completely blank boxes here and here this box number 3 and box number 7 these two boxes are completely blank and there are only 24 numbers given ok and then the second point next point is we got a cluster of numbers in box 1 another cluster of numbers in box 9 usually these clusters uh, lead us to give us some clues usually in this also one or two clues will be available let us go through them now let us proceed with the puzzle ok now you, our usual method is there we always look at this top horizontal strip first and in the process now let us have a look at this box with the cluster first of all ok now we, we find three vacant places here those are for 1, 2 and 5 we have we find a number 1 here in row C at C6 therefore looking at this box you get our first number for this puzzle it is number 1 itself here ok then what about this box now you get a pair of 2 and 5 here and this box number 1 ok let's write that pair 2 and 5 here ok 2 and 5 written then what else happens 1 don't know here here or here 3 places are there for that 2 we made a pair 3 occurs once 4 occurs once 5 we got in this pair 6 7 8 7 once occurs 8 8 gets to these two places leave it 9 gets these two places leave it now ok now at this time let us look at this box this box number 2 we have written a pair here it is number 2 and 5 cannot get repeated here we have a 2 down below here in column number 6 we have a third 2 also here in column number 5 looking at this box the only place available for uh, number 2 is here ok I hope I am clear ok now what else happens ok let's fill this middle vertical strip we already filled the number 2 3 times it's over 1 we have a 1 there in column number 6 1 in column of 5 2 therefore looking at this box we get a chance to put a number 1 here at j4 that's number 1 and then one more opportunity we get to write number 8 here because this 8 here and this 8 here the only place in this box for 8 is this ok and now let us have a look at this box once again we have 1 and 8 here in this box and 2 also 1 8 2 here therefore 1 2 and 8 have to take these places ok that is let, 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 let us remember that point now let us come to our major trick number 1 that is you know we have discussed about casual 
in our previous uh, videos. I will show the carrier once again here. Look at row A. We have 4, 6 and 7 in one row that is row A. Look at this box. We cannot repeat this 4, 6 and 7 in these two places. That is A5 and A6. Therefore, these three numbers have to take these three places that is B5, C4 and C5 and rest there and give a chance for us to fill up these two places. Therefore, let us fill up these three places now with 4, 6 and 7. We have a 4 down below. Therefore, let me write 6 and 7 there. 6 and 7. We do not have 4, 6 or 7 in this direction or in this direction. Therefore, let me write all the four and three numbers there. 4, 6, uh, sorry, 6 and 7. 4, 6 and 7. Okay. Now, this box gets completed with two numbers. What are those numbers? That is 3 and 5. Yes. Let us write the 3 and 5 there. Okay. Now, we get a chance of writing these three numbers here, 1 to 8, ok, let us write them down. We have a 2 down below of 1, 2 and 8, let us let's write 1 and 8 here, when we have an 8 down below, let us write 1, 2 and 2 here and here nothing down below, let me write all the three numbers, 1, 2, 8 there, ok then. Let's have another look at this box. At this time, anything happens? Yes, something happens there. Operating this this tray over here, we have a three in column row. Uh, sorry, row B. You have a three in column nine. You have a three in column eight, leaving a room for number three only here in this box. That is, at C seven, we write a three there. Okay, now. Now, what else happens in this box? Let us have a look. Ok. We will we'll do, we'll do it in easy, easier fashion. In row B, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers already present now. That means 4 more numbers are required. That is for 4, 5, 6, 7. Ok. Other numbers are there. 4, 5, 6, 7. Let me write those numbers here. We have 5 and 6. Let me write 4 and 7 there. Here. 4 and 7 here. Let me write 5 and 6. All the 4 numbers here. 4, 5, 6, 7. That is a funny, funny situation now. Okay. Now, row C also has got 5 numbers now, that is 1 is there, 2 is there in this pair, 3 is there, 5 is there in this pair. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers are there. These two also can be filled up now with what numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7 and 9, 4, 6, 7, 9, okay. 4 and 7 here, so you get 6, 9, 4, 6, 7, 9, we got 6, therefore 4, 7, 9, ok. Next trick here, come here, in this horizontal step, middle horizontal step, we hardly find any, any pairs except number 2 and 3. 2, you do not know whether to fix here or here, 3 again, here or here, we do not know, these two places, leave it now for the time being, then other numbers are occurring just once each, so let us leave it there also, nothing, no luck now, in the middle horizontal strip, come here, bottom horizontal strip, we got a blank, a blank box here and a cluster here, so let us tackle the cluster first of all, ok, let us let us see the, uh, what can be done in about this cluster. It requires 1, 2 and 5. 1, 2 and 5. Okay. We have a 5 on top. Let us write the 1 and 2 here. We do not have 1 or 2 or 5 anywhere. 
up or down i mean uh, uh, in the left or on top okay so let's write all the three, three numbers there 1 2 and 5 1 2 and 5 here okay now incidentally in column number 9 we have created a pair there of 1 and 2 at a9 and c9 therefore leaving us three places for 4 7 and 9 and here here and here therefore we don't have 4 7 or 9 across in row f therefore let me write all the numbers there 4 7 and 9 okay now let's look at the rest of this strip okay now now let us come to the next trick in this box have a good look we have 3 and 6 in column number 1 another 3 and 6 in column number 2 and we have a 3 and 6 in row h here therefore looking at this box this two numbers 3 and 6 can't be written anywhere here 3 and 6 can't be written anywhere here can't be written here also therefore we get a pair of 3 and 6 here okay that's the place for 3 and 6 then what else happens can anything be done in this box let's have a look 1 1 no chance 2 again no chance 3 is there 4 you get a four chance for writing a 4 here you have a 4 in row h and you have a 4 in row j we have a 4 up there at a1 therefore we can write a 4 here okay let's go to the next trick now come to this box once again we have 3 and 6 a pair here in this box therefore have a look 3 and 6 together cannot be repeated here or here at j1 or j2 but you can write the 3 and 6 here let's write that 3 and 6 i hope i am clear that brings us to these two places if we can fill them up now we have a 1 2 3 4 5 and 7 are missing in this row j therefore let's have a look if 5 and 7 can be filled up here we i see a number 7 on top there therefore i we can let us write that 7 here and 5 here okay and then anything else happens let's have a look at this box once again it's a very interesting box now yeah we require one two three four five six are there eight eight here or here nine here or here okay the next trick have a look at this middle vertical strip and this box in particular see we have a 9 here that means in this box 9 cannot be repeated anywhere at d4 or a4 or f4 so therefore the 9 has to be somewhere here which means in this box 9 has to be either at g5 or h5 okay keeping that in mind come here to this box box number 7 we have just discussed and found this 9 here and we decided the 9 has to be here or here only and now logically if a 9 has to be here or here 9 has no business to be anywhere around here but we have a few minutes a minute ago we discussed that 9 can be here or here and 9 cannot be here therefore we get a 9 here i hope i am clear yeah have a look the next trick very interesting puzzle this is this is physical i said now 
because of this 3 and 6 the pair of 3 and 6 here you cannot repeat 3 and 6 of course 3 and 6 are there on top we have 1 2 5 there rest of the column uh, the row is filled up so the only chance where you can write a matching pair for 3 and 6 is here right okay now incidentally we have made a pair of 3 and 6 in box 8 also leaving us a chance to fill up these two spaces what are those for 1 2 3 4 5 and 7 5 and 7 okay I don't see 5 or 7 above so let me write that pair 5 and 7 there 5 and 7 5 and 7 immediately after I have written, written this pair have a look here at this 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 cell this 5 has no business to remain there because of this pair let me cut that 5 there immediately we find that we have made a pair of 1 and 2 in box 9 therefore these numbers 1 and 2 have no business to remain in G7 so we get a chance to fill up number 5 there ok so what else happens now what about this place probably we can fill up looking at this row G we have a pair of 3 and 6 there we have 1 and 2 there therefore its matching pair can be written here 1 and 2 ok and then what else happens in this box anything else happens now so much of work we have done 1 don't know where 2 don't know where 3 4 5 6 are there now 8 here or here 9 here or here ok let's leave it for timing shall we fill up these three places these three places we can fill up yeah now this row h requires 1 2 8 and 9 to complete let's fill them up we get 9 there on top 1 2 8 here 8 is there 1 2 9 here here 2 8 and 9 okay so 1 2 8 9 this this strip also is completely filled up that top strip also completely filled up now we are rest we have to restrict ourselves now very interesting thing we find look at column number 2 it, it has got 3 vacancies there now that is for 1 2 and 9 you see in row F 1 and 2 there therefore this 1 and 2 cannot be written here therefore out of 1 2 or 9 what is the number which should come here it is certainly number 9 and then this 9 has no place here and we get the matching pair of 1 and 2 here yeah that's a very important find okay no, what happens? We have another pair of one and two there. Okay. Can anything be done in this box now? Let's have a look. One, two, three, four. No, five. <laughs> I think they have no five you don't know where to put here or here there okay leave it six already there seven eight no chance the only box we not checked is this one let's have a look at that one the two is one and two are there three don't know here or here four you get three places for four five too many chances five six 
6 also same way 7 anything can be done about 7 no 8 is there 9 9 here 9 here 9 here we don't 9 here or here we don't know okay so now we have finished checking the uh, strips and boxes let's go now column by column or or row by row whichever order i think we better go by columns so i see quite a few numbers already we written let's start with this column number a 145 sorry so this column requires only four numbers one two five and eight so we have two there we can write one five and eight here that completes this column number one two already filled up is three too many vacancies are there because there is nothing in a good order so let's skip that for time being not let's come to this column number four it has got five numbers there already requiring only four numbers so what are those four numbers three five six and seven we have three and five one in row e it means you can write six and seven here making a pair new pair of six and seven here therefore again our we can make a pair of this three and five also and right here and here but you find a three there for there cross checking therefore you write get a three here and a five here okay now as soon as we written this five here have a look at d1 this out of this tray one five eight the five becomes redundant let us strike it off okay and have a look at karma one we have incidentally made a tray of one two four two has no business to remain in c1 therefore you get a five there immediately you get a two there okay now anything else happens after writing a two we can strike this two here okay let it be there for the time being no we have made some discovery here let's see if something can be done with these other remaining cells here one two three are there four don't know where five is there six seven you get no no another seven here no no okay leave it eight is there already nine nine here or here we don't know okay leave it now let's come to this four numbers there okay here also only three numbers there let's shift our rows now these rows are finished now let us see row f it has got one two three four five numbers there after writing this number nine we did not look this side we can strike this nine here okay now look at column over nine is only one place a 9 occurs that is at C9 let us fix that 9 there ok after writing that number 9 there this pair gets disturbed you get a 6 there and this pair also get disturbed we get a 5 there we have 5 and 6 here therefore these 5 and 6 here in B7 get struck off we get a pair of 4 and 7 here in row B. Look at here. In this tray of 4, 6, 7, 4 and 7 are here. Therefore, you get a 6 there. Operating at 6, this is 7. And this is naturally 4. That's wonderful. Now, we have written a 6 there on top. Come down. Let's cut this pair and make it 3 there and here it's this on the left we get a 6 and just above you get a 3 there 
I come back here, you get 6 there. Okay, then we good, made a good progress, I think, I am sure. Okay, something else is happening here. Look at row H. The only cell in which a 9 occurs is here. Let's fix that 9 there. Okay, that finishes, I think, uh, these 9s here and these 9s here. Only here we require 9s there. Okay, let's split it with here now. Okay, now what else shall we do now? Look at this, 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 this column number 3. It requires 3 numbers there, 3 vacancies are there. What are those for? 1, 2, 3 are there, 4, 5 and 8 are required. Okay, you have a 5 there, you have 5 there, you get the number next 5 here and out of 4, 5 and 8, you have an 8 here. So, you get an 8 there and you get naturally 4. That finishes column number 3 also and after writing the rate here, D1 gets number 1 and E2 gets number 2 and this H2 gets number 1 and 2 or G1. We have 1 also on top and 2 also here that and the only vacant cell in this box is H1 that is for number 8. Okay. After writing this number 1 here, have a look on the right side. At this place, we can strike that number 1 and write a 2 there. Here it is, number 1. Look up. We get a 2 there at A9. So, and then we strike up, we strike up this 2 here. We have a pair there of 1 and 8, 1 and 8. We have another pair 3 and 5 on and A row A. But we look down, we have written a 3 here, that means this pair gets disturbed, you get a 5 there and this is a 3, okay. And now, what else? Okay, let us, uh, let us, let us, let us, let us look at this, this row F, okay, it has got T with 3 vacancies, that is for 4, 7 and 8. You find an 8 on top, 8 here also. Therefore, you cannot write here, you cannot write here because there is 4 and 8 there, 4 and 7 there, sorry. So, you get an 8 here, okay. After writing this 8, go up there, strike that pair there and write 1 there and 8 here, yeah. Now, what about these two places in the column over 8? That is 1 and 9, yeah. Other numbers are there. You find a one there, number one here in row D. Let's write our one here and naturally a nine here. Okay, this this there are no three places here vacant. For what? Okay, before that, let us see row D. We got two vacancies there. We got one, two, three there, four and six. We have written a six here. Therefore, you get our 6 there and this is 4. Okay, now 4 and 7 here. We get a 4 here. Therefore, we, we can write the 4 here and 7 here. Naturally, when you look up, you get a 4 there and this is 7. 7, 7, 7, okay, not making a mistake, okay. Now we are coming to the end of the puzzle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have written a 5 there on top. Therefore, this pair gets disturbed and you get 7 here and we can write a 5 there. This strip is completed. That strip is completed. We got only 2 vacancies, 3 vacancies for this puzzle, okay. We have got a number 7 here, therefore this pair also gets disturbed and we have got a 7 on top also. Therefore, we can safely write a 6 here and these two places of what? Ah, research now. 
okay we got a 7 across here let's put that 7 here and probably the last number for this puzzle is number 9 I think we have done it quite a way it was a difficult puzzle let me believe me it was a difficult puzzle we have done it we have solved it quite easily with the help of a few tricks one is this castle and this pair which are very important and we have found a few numbers here and there by logic, this nine, finding this logic was an important step. So please note all these things, and uh, you you pick up these few tricks and you become an expert yourself. That's it. Okay. Then one thing more I would like to say about the puzzle. One thing more I would like to tell you is I written no note here. You can read this note. I will show you. This is the book I have written some miracles shown by some miracles shown by god by ks rao my email id is also there so this book basically gives this some miracles shown by god narrates how god the supreme power helped and rescued ks rao that is myself in unexpected unbelievable and shocking manner several times it's, mind you it's a book on god and not a religion god is common for all religions because of the way we pray to the one God, there are several di disciplines called religions formed. So we need not bother about the divisions. So th this book is all about God only, nothing else. Okay, so this I would like to send this book to all the people, all, the, all my viewers by soft copy. The soft copy will be sent free. Printed copy for those people living in India, it will, be, it will cost up his hundred because I, there's some expenses are involved. Otherwise, I would I would like to send it free. But uh, uh, well, uh, I would like to uh, the the people. Some people may require a printed copy only to read at leisure. Therefore, they have to send rupees hundred to me if they are in India. But for both options, either a soft free copy or a hard copy please contact me by this mail id it is simple k l s l raw at gmail dot com so i will send this book either soft copy or hard copy so that's it so that's about the puzzle and this book also so god bless you all